guys, how you doing? FM Del here and welcome to Chasing the Champions League. We are still a Werther Bremen. We made that decision in the last episode. If you haven't watched it, go back and watch it right now. If you've not watched the start of this series, go back and watch it as well. Let's go all the way. Go all the way back and get to where we are today. The aim of the game is to win the Champions League. Now, we're not starting at an easy point to do so. We're starting at Werther Bremen. And uh, my knowledge of Werther Bremen going into this was getting given a shirt via one of those, what do you call it, where you just get through the letterbox, they give me a shirt, uh, mystery shirt. Yeah, brilliant worked out. And um, that's my knowledge. We had one season, go back and see how that went. And we're now into the second season. Was that the longest, weirdest, um, possibly the loosest start to an episode I've ever done? Yeah, Dale, it was absolutely shocking. So if there's any new people, they hate you already. Well, if you are new, like, subscribe, beautiful stuff and all that jazz. Anyway, for you who haven't, aren't new, and you want to know what's been going on, guys, we've had two games in the league so far this season. And uh, let's have a look at them, shall we? First one, and I'll tell you what, guys, it was a 2-0 win uh, against Stuttgart. And it was such a good game. You could see the system that we went with. You could see that Unal did not have the best game uh, that he has ever had. But what you will see is Farias smashing it. 9.3 first game. El Nenny also came in, scored on his debut as well. It really gave us a big positive going into the season. But one thing we did have, and the reason I'm showing you this screen, is because Unal was our main striker. Our backup striker and only backup striker that we had was Fulkrug. What's happened with Fulkrug? Fulkrug is injured. And he's not just a little injured. He's out for two months. And because he's out for two months, it means we've had to go into the transfer market. Guys, we have signed... An absolute superstar. Waste of money, isn't it? It's an absolute waste. You're not telling him that yet. You're just... It's a waste of money. No, oh, he's a superstar. Oh, this is one of the best players to ever play the game. This is like a charisma moment all over again, isn't it? You basically sign charisma. He's older than charisma. He makes charisma look like a child. Oh, boys, we have absolutely, we have got the best striker that we could ever, ever need. Bring him in, everyone. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, the god. This is so bad. It's just so, what are you thinking? Zlatan, no. Oh, he's free, which was a major part of the deal. I'm not going to lie. We have no money. We've got zero money. We've got 13 grand left. We've got him in. So that's the major positive. Did I tell him he was a star player? And will he be one? No, no, he won't. But he has 20 natural fitness. So no bother that the pace is absolutely appalling. His finish is 18. First touch, 19. Still, look at all these amazing, amazing stats. Did he do well in his first game coming off the bench? Bang average. We still lost that game. We lost that game 1-0, if you want to know. But Zlatan! Zlatan Ibrahimovic is here last season. A 6.98 at Milan. That's still decent, right? 6.8 in his first game here. Three goals. Yeah, his, his goals have dropped off a bit. His goals have dropped off a bit. But he's won so many titles. So that means that we are... We're scoodle right into it, Right into a championship race, guys. Tell me... Get down there in the comments now about how amazing that is. Because I think we have done possibly the best transfer ever seen on any FM save ever. That's a tagline for you. And after the utter high of Zlatan, we've got a bit of a low. We've got pulled ankle ligaments to our goalkeeper, um, which isn't great, but are you ready for it, guys? Boom! We are in yellow. It's transfer deadline day, and I'm going to tell you now, don't expect much, because we have no money. I've been through this with you already. We have absolutely no thing to play with. Uh, zero transfer budget here. Wage budget is, uh, I think we've... Currently spending 579, so we've got about 13 there to play with. It's, uh, I'm still going to try, you know me. Oh, we have brought in two, two young players, not really for the first team. And especially my mindset, by the way, when, when we're building something for a Champions League, my mindset is still bringing in young players and, and building them up in like, like we're doing a long term non league to legendy kind of save instead of a Champions League win the big, big prize thing where you need to get players who are good today. Yeah, but we have signed them, so let's go and see them. First one's this young lad, 20 years old, can play right wing, inverted winger. As you can see, though, he can be a baller up here. That's why we've signed him. We only signed him for, I think, two hundred no, £350,000, and he's played pretty poorly in his first game. 
He's a bit. He's a bit of a hit and hoper. A bit of a hit and hope. I've got to say, but we didn't have enough money to bring in anyone that's like, oh, he's definitely going to be able to do it. So, Lisandro Tremoni has got a great name, and that's another reason why I think 100% he deserves to be here. And I'm sure you agree with that decision. The other one is Brian Reynolds, who in, is in very, very close now. I think about it to Brian Reynolds, isn't it? We brought in Bry, Bry, Bry. He might be known. He might anyone. From the me and my crew days, we'll love that. A uh, very, very high wage, ten grand, too high a wage. I agree. Um, the, yeah, this is a bad decision already. I can tell you now. But three seven five from Roma, right? So he went to Roma. This is the thing. He went to Roma for five point seven five million pounds. They threw him out into the Belgian league for two years. Didn't do great last year, but three seven five. I thought it was a decent deal. One of those where I think, well, if we can sell him on in a little bit. That would be great. Because of how low his, his transfer was, we gave him a little bit too much probably per week. But let's not let's not dance around that. Let's play on the fact that if he does well at fullback, which we haven't really got loads of players for, he is a bit of a backup for that position. Brilliant. Does his job. We'll be happy with it. Now, we've got 10 hours. Let's see if we can do anything. This could be the worst transfer deadline day that we've ever had. Honestly, it's, it's just... It's not, it's not getting anywhere, guys. Eight hours left. A couple of loan attempts. But... Really, really struggling. They've probably been turned down. One of them is, is Lewis, Rico Lewis. Uh, that's negotiated. But that's the issue we've got. It's the monthly fee. And we, can, we can't afford the monthly fee unless the, unless the board want to give me some more money. So the other one's Hannibal. And again, look, I mean, 1.8 million for the loan. I don't think it's bad at all. I don't think it's bad at all if we could afford it. But we can't. So it's another one that's not going to happen, isn't it? Two hours remaining. And it's just, it's not happening, guys. It's not happening. So, I think we'll just, we'll just, none of the loans are coming through. Nothing's happening. It's just, it's been too difficult. One hour to go and it's a couple of loans, maybe, maybe. They're all about to be turned down. Yeah, they've been turned down. So, no high sege, no Garnaccio, 45 minutes. None of these are going to go through. Tellez won't go through either. We've done all we can. We've done all we can. But we just can't get it. I'm not going to pay £20,000 for this guy. Like, I didn't mind bringing him in. If I could get him in on nothing, but I feel like trying to get him in on on 20 grand, which is going to push me over my limit, I don't think that's going to happen. You know what? Let's just a cheeky one. That wouldn't bring me over my... An extra body would always be good, right? An extra body would always be good. Hi, Serge. They want that. We can't give that. But an extra body would always be good. Let's keep that positivity train going. This is turned down. We ain't got a chance. Tell us, I tell you what, we ain't got a chance with him because they will not accept nothing. Oh, red, red. Let's pretend we'll give him 20 mil as an optional fund. We won't. We won't be giving him that. Well, that's it. It has closed. We weren't able to bring anybody else in. It isn't what we wanted. But we have made some very, I think, very decent signings, especially these ones, top three here for no money at all. So... It's good to bring in El Nenny on a free, Ibrahimovic on a free, a loan for Sarawi, which I think is a great signing as well. We've got to be pleased with that. Um, let me know what you think about those deals. Wage-wise, we're sitting 12th, so I'll be happy if we could finish 12th this season. When you look at the big roundup, uh, you'll see that Serge Gnabry has gone to Real Madrid for £61 million. Luka Ivanusek has gone from Dinamo to Borussia Mönchengladbach, so we'll be seeing him very, very shortly. But the biggest spenders, you might be surprised, are Hertha Berlin at £40.5 million. Pounds. We couldn't quite live up there. Transfers cancelled. We tried to bring these guys in. It, it didn't work for us. They were all willing to, to talk about it, but we didn't have the money to bring them in. So let's get to this Borussia Mönchengladbach game, and let's see the boys in action. So here we are at the Werder Bremen versus Borussia Mönchengladbach game at the Versus Stadion here in Bremen. Right, so this is how we line up. Nicola Bagnoloni, Bagnoloni, Ma Nicola Bagnolini. Uh, we're going with it. It's, I think it's his debut actually today. Uh, obviously playing instead of Carriers, who is injured. A goo right back, Piper and Stark in the middle. Friedel taking the left back role. El Nenny and Gruev is going to play in the defensive mid slots. Calidio is on the right wing. We're playing bit and core today on the left wing. And Schmid just behind Unal up front. You'll see on the bench, 
There is Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Uh, Ruben Perez on the bench as well, coming back to fitness. It's not quite fit enough to play today. And Bon might play in more in that right wing spot. And Jung will probably play left wing more. But look, we're, we're trying to mix and match the team, find this perfect team that we need. Borussia Munch and Gladbach themselves sit 14th in the league. Jan Sommer is their goalkeeper, one of the best goalkeepers really in, in the world, I think, at the moment. Very good goalkeeper. We talked about even Usyk, he's just signed as well. Marcus Turam, player. Look, they've got some good players. Very good players. We're going to have to do well today. But I believe in ourselves. And we've always got Zlatan off the bench. Come on, Zlatan. We're all in for Zlatan. We're all in for this man. Number 21. When's he going to come on? That is the question. Kick off in today's game against Borussia Mönchengladbach. The only game of the episode due to the transfer window, of course. Uh, and hopefully it's going to be one that we look back on as a big win for the team and a big big game for us really as well cementing where we are in the league Borussia Mönchengladbach not a bad team so it'll be very good to get ourselves uh, in the mix with them we're 15 minutes into the game and nothing nothing is, is well every time I say that isn't it every time I say that something will happen and here we are at least it's us on the ball that's a bit of positivity as Piper plays into El Nene who, who controlled the first game let me tell you how good he was Gruev Big, big season for Gruev and, and also Bittencourt. Let's be honest, probably uh, in need of a good season, Bittencourt, because if he doesn't do it this year, he's definitely gone. If he doesn't do it in the first six months, he's probably got very little chance of game time. As Elneny has made a big mistake in the... No, boys. Taram through one on one. Bagnolini. What a man. No probs. No probs. Well, we're back. We've not had an opportunity. And it's them on the ball. And it's Scally. Trying to make his way through. He can't. Bittencourt gives it a big boot away. But it's over to Nets. The left back for them. He's got plenty of space down that left hand side. He puts a nice little ball into Taram. You can't give a pen for that ref. You can't. You just can't ref. There's no way it's a pen. Why are you even stopping the game? Don't do. Don't. Whoever's on VAR. Is, what is that? What is that decision? That is an absolute. Bagnolini is on his debut. This could be his biggest. Save his life. He's missed it as well. Well done. Um, 1-0 then. Goal. Rami Ben Sabani. You know what, boys? It's just not a penalty, though, is it? It's just not a penalty in the, in the first place. So, what do you do against that? What do you do against that? These stupid decisions that get given by referees. It's gone to a VAR. Pathetic. The guy didn't even fall over. How much do you think it was a penalty? They've come back. It's them with a the free kick on the right-hand side. Ibrahimovic is looking... Probably warming up at this point as Scally tries to head it and he can't get it. It's Player plays it out to Hoffman again. Hoffman jigs into the box, has a shot, and it's in, and it's really in. Oh, nosies. A lot of decisions have to be made. You know that Lazio deal looking looking more and more tempting the more we go in here as Player plays it out to Hoffman. He's, he's been giving way too much space here. Poor, poor play from us. Bagnolini, he's just not good enough, is he? He might be in the future, but right now he's not good enough to be the goalkeeper for Werther Bremen. Back again. We're back again, and he's them again. And we just don't look like going forward at this point. There might need to be big changes to be made as Calidio, who, who can change games on his own. We know he can do that. This is one of those moments where we might need him to do that. But again, he's actually found loads of space down this right-hand side, but he's only got Unal to find. Does he need anyone? He does! He's off the post. Off the post. Friedel back in. McElhenia. Come on, boy. McElhenia as if it's a uh, <laughs> Wrexham are going to save us at this point. El Nenny over to Bittencourt. He's let us down as per usual. He's offside. Half time. 2-0. And I wasn't expecting to do it so early, but I think we all know what's coming. First acts of the second half. Straight away, really. Hoffman puts into Taram. Should have made it three. He doesn't. Bagnolini makes the save, but now the substitution has happened. Ibrahimovic is on. Schmidt is off. We've gone two up front. Hoping for the best. Nope, Schmidt's still on. The sub's not been made yet. Brilliant. Bittencourt turns inside. Puts it back into Gruev. Gruev across to Kalidio. We can do this kind of thing and he can't today. Second time we've hit the woodwork. We're back again. This time, surely the sub has been made now. I'd be very disappointed if it hasn't, as uh, El Nani tries to go over the top. I don't know who's going over the top too, but he gets two now in the end. Oh my God, what a goal. What a goal! Is that the best goal you've ever seen? Unal, what a finish that is. He has just done the most sublime finish. In fact, I would maybe even say Zlatan-esque is what this is. He's outside the box. He has no right to do that. What a great finish. Would you believe it's taken until that goal for us to make that substitution? Hopefully, though, with the introduction of the man, the myth, the legend, that is Zlatan Ibrahimovic, 
we can get that extra goal, get that draw out of this game. Well, I'm hoping for it. It's not looking like us. As Nets puts it in, he doesn't go far enough. Ibrahimovic is on the ball, everyone. Get excited. It's, uh, he plays it into a coup. Good safe ball. Nice, nice. Like to see it. And uh, we, we are starting up again. And we're playing it back to Stark. Space is there. Uh, Zlatan's playing deep, lying forward, if you're wondering. So that's why he's, he's sort of bridging that gap between midfield and the strike force. Means that Unal can go up there on his on his what is that bit in core? He's coming off, boys. He's coming off. We know he's coming off. Someone just get the ball back because otherwise this could easily be three one. Grev, don't get sent off. <sighs> it's gone wide. Look, let's get bit in core off. Embarrassing. So bit in core is off. Um, also Gruev's off on a yellow card. I can't be risking that at this point. So we're bringing on Perez, uh, but it's not helping right now. It's coming out as a strike and it's gone wide. It's gone wide. Come on, boys. This is not what I'm wanting. From you, let's get an opportunity ourselves. Tell him to work harder. Telling him anything. As this is not going our way today. I'm gutted about that. Actually gutted about it. I thought we'd come away with something. We've come away with absolutely nothing. That's how we finished the game. Not good enough. It's just not good enough, boys. So uh, when are we going to be back? Should I have gone to Lazio? Thank God for that win at the start of the season. Because it means that we're sitting, sitting mid-table. Still looks kind of pretty after three games. But... It's not good enough. We'll look at the, uh, the schedule to see when we'll come back for y'all. Uh, we'll probably come back for, well, it's got to be the HSV game. In fact, there's two. There's two in a row against the Derby boys. So we'll play them two games next. We'll come back for the Hamburg ones. Boys, we've got to do better. We've got to get on that winning train. Let's hope we can do it and chase that Champions League. Remember, like, subscribe, do all the beautiful stuff. Thank you for watching. And see you little bit.